big business of cannabis continues. This is now 1,600 Rand to get three people into this place. It's been open a week or so. It looks like it's going to stay open a while. Um, we're just having a coffee because we're not in for another 15 minutes. We've got strict entry levels. We've been frisked, frisked as if we're going through an airport to get in here. It's not like a bottle store. This is like a weed store with no weed, but it's like shakedown. Anyway, super cool. We did um, get a really nice poster with our, with our exhibition guy that has a... Oh, no, stickers on the back and we all have stickers so then you have to peel the stickers to reveal the map of the exhibition so yeah we're like bright eyed and uh, we're going to get a coffee and we'll um, see you on the inside like all good museums it starts at the beginning in decade by decade sections the hundred year old story of prohibition snakes around the building the first section deals with early uses of the plant, Chinese hemp manuscripts, early books, hemp during the American Civil War, 19th century medicines, and even a hemp stars and stripes and fashions at the beginning of Prohibition, starting with alcohol in the 1920s. In a room like this, you can understand how Prohibition is an absolute crock. Um, this is all depicts the 1920s and 30s, the, the reefer madness of it all, the devil's weed, the smoke, the debauchery, and everything else. And this is a lot of fun. It's brilliantly curated. It's got music of the 20s, of the speakeasies coming through it. And this is given as a really cool idea. The reefer madness of the 1920s, 30s, and 40s continues until the US government's Second World War Hemp for Victory videos. And then it's back to prohibition, pictures of marijuana felons and fear-inducing propaganda. From the 1920s and 30s and 40s, we thank Christ we actually end up with the 1960s. But uh, I always maintain I was born 10 years too late because if you remember the 60s, you were The 1970s and 80s were dominated by the policies of Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan. So now it's SWAT teams and now it's the DEA, now it's the 80s and the badass 90s. And you can, the whole thing about this exhibition is the sheer noise and the chaos about it. This is now right in the center of the war on drugs. And I get to say it again, I hate the cops. I hate the cops. And I get to give them the middle finger in this amazing exhibit. Stop the goddamn cops. Stop the cops, stop the cops, stop the cops. Stop the cops. So the next section of the exhibition is to do with something that really hit America hard in the late 80s and early 90s was the AIDS epidemic. And this was the start of making cannabis available to people to deal with their wasting syndrome and appetites. So and this is the first story of medical marijuana in the late 90s. And this here is a recreation of Dennis Perron's first Cannabis Buyers Club, the first San Francisco Cannabis Buyers Club in 96. And it's, he did it against the law. Uh, they were all prosecuted. People went to jail still, but he kept giving compassionate cannabis to people. And it's a testament to the power of human will, basically. So this is a recreation of Darius per Peron's first cannabis dispensary in San Francisco. cool interactive thing I've never seen anything like this before but what it does do is put like a decade all in the same place 
It's a really simple thing. It's just a bunch of screens, projectors, and an Xbox, and you kind of point to wherever you want to be, and then it will bring up everything, and you can see that it's embedded with information below information. So instead of curating massive boards full of information, you just roll your hand over the, the date, and there it comes up, and then you can figure out within this any movies or whatever they get. This is the information portal of the modern era. Where did it go? How did it get here? THC versus CBD. We got a whole bunch of things with the terpene profiles. This we've seen before. This is we've seen uh, curations like this in Amsterdam. Uh, you can go up, come across and we start sniffing terpenes and we go through all the dab rigs and methods of ingestion, different strains and like. Now we're getting into modern culture. This has been an amazing experience. It's about an hour and a half long. Now we're gonna go out to the merch shop and get ourselves a memento. But if you're ever in Hollywood, come and see the Weed Max Weed Museum. It isn't full of stuff like a curated museum, but it's got some brilliant interaction and it really is in your face. And um, we've really enjoyed ourselves very much. So well done to Weed Maps for putting weed on the map. <laughs>